going on guys? I'm currently at the beach right now. Sorry if you hear little waves clashing noises. But I'm at the beach right now. It's at Key Biscayne. A lot of people know where that is if you live in Miami. But I just came back from the gym. And as I was working out, you know, I was having some deep, deep, deep thoughts about life and about my past and about like what I want for my future. And I came here, you know, I dropped off Maria by school by here. And I wanted to come to the beach to do a vlog. A basic video I was going to do about worlds or something like that. And as I was coming here, I kind of decided I didn't want to do a video on that. You know, I want to do something more heart to heart. I want to do something more deep. Something that's really, really, really not only interesting, but something that really matters. You know, something I want to give you my own thought and my past and kind of talk more about me and my future. So I decided, you know, why not do it here? It's a great place. It's a great day. It's a little sunny. Sorry, my eyes keep closing. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go pretty deep here. I'm, I'm going to be pretty real to you guys. You know, you guys support me. You guys show me love every day. And a lot of you know I've been struggling to do what I do. You know, my placings this year have been pretty shit. Uh, my YouTube hasn't grown much ever since I left phase. You know, actually it's been, I, I've been losing some subscribers. And it hurts, you know, I post a video every single day. Uh, some videos are really quality, quality, you know, I put a lot of time into it. Some videos are just decent, you know, I put probably an hour into it, that's it. But you know, in the end of the day, this is what I want to do, this is what I love, and I want to be happy. Happy is my main concern in life, you know. Like you, you guys know, being happy, I said this in the video before, is the best thing in the world. You know, when you're very happy, you just feel, you feel like a million bucks. You feel like an unstoppable force. You feel like nothing can stop you. You feel so great. And that's the feeling I want to have in my whole life. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, my past hasn't been the best. You know, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. I don't want to get too personal. Ever since I was young, about three years old, my parents got divorced. You know, I'm, my mom uh, kind of struggling with payments and stuff. My dad, you know, he was he's a good dad. Uh, just I didn't really like the, the first stepmom we had. She treated me really bad. But it was more than that, you know. So to go kind of in deep thought, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about me. And some of you may not know, but at a young age, I lost my brother. Uh, kind of sad, but it's okay, guys. I've, I've already been over this for years now. I lost my brother when I was 12 years old. Uh, he died in a motorcycle accident. And it, it was, it was really sad to uh, deal with that at a you know at a young age. It was pretty traumatizing. I didn't believe it happened. You know, my dad just called me one day. I was in my friend's house. He was supposed to pick me up, and he just told me straight up, you know, Stanley's dead, and I couldn't believe it. You know, I thought he was kidding. I at first I took it as a joke, and you know, ever since then, uh, my life has been like ups and downs. Uh, you know, some of my family members have, well. A family member has gone to jail, you know, other people doing other stuff, and I don't want to get too personal with that. And, you know, I just, uh, going, going throughout middle school and high school, you know, my life has been kind of down, losing someone that young, someone I really, really loved. I'm not going to cry, I'm good. Someone I really loved, you know, I looked, to him, I looked up to him the most out of anyone, you know. Uh, my father was a great guy. He is a good guy. He's, a, he's an amazing dad. You know, he takes care of me. He really worries about me, cares about how I feel, wants me to be happy. But my brother was somebody, you know, I lived with him because he was part of my dad's side. And I lived with my dad most of my life until I was like, until he passed away and I grew to like high school and I started living with my mom. But he was somebody I looked up to a lot. Uh, you know, he was a strong, big, very generous, happy, you know, just an outgoing guy. And he, he always he always cared for me too. I remember this one time I lend a I lend like a Nintendo 64 game to a friend and the kid didn't want to give it back to me. You know, I confronted him a couple times. He was like, you know, being around the bush, say, yeah, I'll give it back to you, I'll come with day. It was like half a year, he never gave it back to me. And my brother asked me one day, you know, because he would play sometimes too. He asked me, where's the game? And I said, uh, this kid has it. And he ended up, he's like, you know what, we're gonna go get it right now. He literally took me in the car, we drove to his house, which is a couple blocks away from where we lived. And he confronted the parents, he's like, look, this kid has the game, we want it back and everything, and he got it back. And just like that, like, it was things like that, you know, I really looked up to him, and he's someone, like, I guess every day I try to be. You know, he was a, like I said, he was a really good guy, you know, very generous, very kind, happy at all times, uh, great shape. You know, and that's someone I push myself to be, not, not even in him in sense, but just to be a better person in life every single day. You know, life is not easy. Like, I've been through so much in my life, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have too. And it's never gonna be easy. You know, we're always gonna lose someone we love. You know, life is hard. And especially in the future, you know, you're gonna lose your parents, you're gonna lose maybe someone else, and it hurts, and it sucks, but that's life. And, you know, 
I think like a lot a, re a huge reason why I'm very strong is because a lot of things that I've gone through in my life, a lot of things that I've been through has made me stronger mentally and physically. Well, not physically. Physically, I'm stronger because I go to the gym. You know, I want to be in great shape and be healthy. But, you know, I, I'm here, guys, to tell you that no matter what happens, you know, keep your head up. Like, I, I hate people when they talk about suicide. You know, it happens every day. Uh, people killing themselves and I think that's the worst thing on earth you can do you know you never want to take your own life away that's that's something beyond like like I can't even phantom how bad that is like I don't want anybody like when any of my friends mess around or play around I'm like no nah, you shouldn't be kidding about that you know I tell them straight up you know I'm a, I'm a pretty honest person a real person I could be quite blunt sometimes which it could be a little bad but I don't like to beat around the bush you know I like to talk to, to whoever I talk to serious and real you know I'm a pretty I'll pretty forward guy but I want to tell you guys like just be the best person you can be you know work hard every day life life is never gonna be easy I know a lot of you guys have been dealing with hard stuff you know there's there's a, there's billions of us in this world and I know like someone has has hard has a, had it harder than me someone has been through worse than me someone has been just as bad or someone has has it has it still bad you know and we never we can, I like I always say man just fuck whatever anybody thinks you know, I don't let anybody judge me. Well, you can judge me if you want. I'm not gonna, you know, I can't do anything about that. But, you know, ne don't let anyone tell you something that you can't do. Don't let anyone tell you, you know, you can't do something. You know, my whole life, I love proving people wrong. I love someone telling me, you know what, you can't bench two plates. I love someone telling me you're never gonna, you're never gonna win, or someone telling me, you know, you're never gonna place good, or you're never gonna do this, you're never gonna do that. You know what, I work harder every day. That fuels my fire. That pushes me to, uh, you know, do better, go harder. And, you know, I'm thankful to have amazing parents, uh, amazing friends, uh, Maria, my fiance, you know, to, to have to have them in my life to keep me going every single day. You know, even you guys, the fans, the supporters, like all of you, man, you guys are freaking amazing. Gaming is something that changed my life for the better. I, I wouldn't lie, like, at a certain point in my life, I was depressed. I was like, I felt like I was gonna go nowhere. I felt like the end of the world. And you know, gaming was a huge reason that allowed me to kind of express myself and put my energy and time into something where you know, kind of gets my mind off everything else, where you know, all the bad things. And this is something I love doing every single day. And I hope, like, you know, I hope I won't have to finish school, even though it's a good thing. Like, if you if you do like finishing school, that's, a, that's an amazing thing. But myself, you know, I enjoy this. I love this. I wish I could do this for my whole life. And in reality, I probably won't be able to. But at least to an older age. You know, maybe I'll have my own team, my own company, whatever it is, and maybe in the future. But this is something I would love to do forever. This is something I enjoy. I want to be happy in life. I want to do what I enjoy to do. And I don't want, you know, someone telling me I can't do it. You know, I feel like there's people put who like give too many excuses. Like if you're doing bad online, if you're not losing weight, if you're not doing good in school, there's always excuses. And I, I can say the same thing because I do it sometimes. But I don't want you guys, you know, making excuses, excuses, excuses. You gotta understand that there, there's someone out there doing better than you, not only because he, like, isn't genetics or because he has a faster reaction time, no, because he puts in the time, he puts in the hard work. There's people out there who study their gameplay, who study their, their mistakes, who, who want it more than some of you, and that's a huge reason why they're successful, that's a huge reason why they're doing better than you. It has nothing to do with genetics or all this bullshit that you guys make. And like I've said it before in my, I, I don't know, I said this in my previous video, but someone out there is probably gonna, is gonna achieve the goal you wanna achieve faster than you. Maybe for you, it'll take a year. For him, it took half a, half a year. And that's always life is, man. Life is never gonna always go your way. And you gotta understand that. You gotta be strong mentally. You gotta understand that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of barriers. There's gonna be a lot of obstacles that are gonna keep you back. They're gonna hold you back. And you can't just sit there making excuses and complain and do not and do nothing about it and just give up. That's you're never gonna get anywhere like that. It's gonna take you 30 years to to accomplish your goal if you think like that. You know, I myself, when I'm when I'm like when I'm losing, when I'm doing bad, I I have to like think back and try to understand why I'm doing bad. What what are my my, my mistakes? And like for example, I'll, I'll do a Call of Duty reference. Like if I'm not if I'm missing a lot of ones in uplink and it's costing us a game. I will literally spend an hour in uplink throwing the ball. If I start missing again, I'm gonna kind of understand, okay, what is, why am I missing? You know, maybe it's the angle. And I would look at the angle and see myself, you know, maybe I'm throwing it too high. 
so I aim lower and I, now I start hitting a lot of ones and that could be a game changer in my career and my future because now when we go to a tournament and I start hitting my ones and we start winning uplinks and we win the uplink, we win the series, you know, I'm placing like top four, top three and it's just little things like that. You know, that's what I think makes a difference between you know two players you can say that you can't compare yourself to let's say two players we're comparing right now any player one guy uh, obviously the both players can shoot you know uh, other people have better shots than others for example I think I have a really good shot compared to a lot of people but you know everyone can shoot everyone knows how to pre-aim everyone most people know how to use movement like it's gonna come down to the little things for example perfecting your movement perfecting your uplinks perfecting your positioning perfecting you know your flank or how to play the map all these little things are the game changer which makes a player from here to all the way here so you can't even see how high it is and that's that's the difference and you know I'm here talking to you guys because not only do I want to inspire you guys but I want to I want to motivate you guys because you know I'm 21 you know, I, I feel old already. I feel like time has passed. I feel like I'm nowhere near my goal. You know, in, in my life and in, in my gaming career, I want to win at least 10 championships. I've only won three. I want to have at least like 500,000 subscribers. I'm only at 63K the past like five months. The past five months, I've lost like 800. There's been barely any progress. So you can see where my frustration comes in. And you know, all these things, you know, I want it big, I want it bad. And I put in the time, I put in the effort. Can I put in more effort? Absolutely. Can I put in more time? 100%. I could be, I could be spending two more hours doing YouTube videos, or I could be spending an extra hour or two playing games, or I could be spending an extra hour studying my gameplay, figure out what I'm doing wrong. You know, there's oh, time is so valuable, and you're never gonna get it back. But you can always use it effectively. You can always use it wise. Like, <clears throat> damn, I needed a brief. You know, it's never easy, guys. It's never. And I just don't want you guys to piss your life away. I just don't want you guys to give it all away. And, you know, I wish I didn't care what people thought about me in high school. You know, <clears throat> in high school, I, I didn't want to do YouTube because I felt like they would figure out my channel. They would find out who I am. <clears throat> and a lot of people knew that I played games. But at the time, it was only like my friends and a couple random people <clears throat> at my school. You know, it was no more than that. And I always cared about what they thought. Now that I'm 21, I don't give a shit what people think about me. You see me do my stupid ass videos, like you think I care what people think about me? Obviously I do to a certain extent, you know, I do want people to see me as a good person. I do want people to see me not like an idiot. But in the end of the day, I do that for you guys just to laugh, to have fun, man. That's what it's all about. Who gives a shit what anybody thinks about you? Do what you love. Like don't let anyone, what they think, change your course of action. Don't let anyone, just because someone thinks it's stupid, just because someone thinks it's nerdy, just because like, like I said, in high school, I wish I did YouTube. I wish like I had the chance. Maybe I, maybe I would have been like at least 100K subscribers by now or something like that. You know, I wish I had the chance to start early. And unfortunately, I don't. I'm, I'm starting now. You know, I've been doing YouTube for like a year and a couple months probably now. And it sucks that, you know, I didn't do it at a young age because I really cared what people thought about me. But I want you guys to not care. You know, I want you guys to understand that just do what you love, do what makes you happy. You know, be confident, man. Just, Fuck all the haters, fuck whoever thinks, you know, they they don't like what you're doing or what they think. I wish somebody would have told me this at a younger age. I wish somebody would have came up to me or, you know, I would have thought about this a long time ago. But now, you know, I'm older, I'm wiser. Uh, I don't know how many more years I have in gaming. Uh, it's competitive, maybe two, three more years max. And then after that, you know, hopefully my YouTube channel grows and I can continue doing YouTube. I want to do start doing maybe like workout videos or like tips on dieting and all these things because I'm really, really, really good on those things. I used to do tons of research, hours of research when I was in high school. That's how I became really fit. You know, I'm very smart when it comes to dieting and how to gain mass and lose weight and all these things. So maybe in the near future, I can start doing more videos on that and stuff like that. But I want to get a little bit better shape. Hey guys, I want you to keep your head up no matter what situation you are in, no matter, no matter how bad you have it right now. You know, I did it. Millions of people do it every day. And I know you guys can do it too. You just got to be mentally strong. You know, you got to understand that life isn't going to always go the way you want it. And you got to understand that things are always going to be hard. But also understand that hard work does pay off. You know, some people have it easier than others, but doesn't mean you shouldn't have, to, you shouldn't work harder. You know, put in the time, put in the effort, make sure that every second you use is, is worth it. You know, make sure that no matter, no matter how hard you have it, that you put in 
unlimited amounts of effort because I myself, I slack sometimes and I hate it. I hate it with a passion because I know I can be using that time, I could be using that effort to becoming better, to produce better things or become healthier, produce better content and all these stuff. And it really eats me alive at night and that's why every day I strive to be better. I strive to be a better player, I strive to be a better YouTuber, I strive to be a better person. Because in life, that's what you want to be. You want to be the best person you can be. That's that's like my whole mindset and that's a huge mindset I had growing up. I wanted to be the best person I could be. You know, I put I put a, a lot of time into working out, into reading about nutrition, about becoming a better player. You know, I put in time in all the important things. You know, even me and Maria, our relationship was amazing. It still is, but you know, when you first start dating, I put so much time into writing notes, into giving her flowers, to giving her gifts, and all these things that, you know, it made her happy. And when she was happy, it made me happy. And like I said, guys, happiness is the most important thing. And don't forget that. I'm done for here. I gotta go pick up Maria, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, just a one-on-one -on -one talk. I wanted to get more personal with you guys, so you get to, you know, understand, and I want to inspire you a little bit, motivate you guys a little bit. You know, it's nothing comes easy in life, and understand that. Really, really understand that. Put that in your thing's gonna come easy. But if you really want something, if you really want, you know, something like, if you really, 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 really want something, you're gonna do no matter, you do whatever it takes, you know, no matter the cost, no matter the situation, to get that. And that's, that's really where heart is, that's really where you're gonna put in the time, that's really where you're gonna strive for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to whoever you want, a family member, a friend, someone that really should know that, you know, just keep their head up, man. Don't give up. Don't let anyone push you down. And always live your life to prove them wrong. Whoever, whoever doubted you from the start, whoever, whoever thinks you can't do it, man, just prove them wrong. This has been your boy, Abdi, and I'm out.